Guys, it's five o'clock and we're live at Stone Coat Countertops with our great friends, Artist Till Death. We got Thornton and Erica. If you haven't seen their channel, go to Artist Till Death on YouTube. You're gonna see how they create functional art to the nth degree, right? Extra. Extra. Guys, we have a really cool show planned for you tonight. We're gonna show you some new techniques to my channel about how to use some dyes to create your own resin ink. We're gonna make a really cool pattern. I'm gonna learn from Erica. You're gonna up-level our Black Galaxy project. Yes. yes. And we got a sign that's gonna blow your mind. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Hey, welcome back. We're so stoked to be live. We've got a really fun thing planned. Erica, you showed me how to mix alcohol with our dyes. We're using some Alumalite dyes yes. that can be found at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Right. And you had fun. I, some of the art that you guys are going to see come up on some of our future videos that we're going to edit are, are absolutely going to be mind-blowing, right? They are amazing, mainly because they're so much fun to make. And hopefully you guys learn how to do these as well. Let's get going. So you got you got the dye. This is red, obviously, mixed in with alcohol. Yes. You're using how many drops for that amount of alcohol? So I wasn't counting, but you really, with this stuff, you can build whatever color. So if you want like a lighter color, just put one drop and then build it from there. This is probably eight. We watched Thornton mix your color and you're, you're a magician with art mixing, man. Mm -hmm. You could tell you might've done that before. Some, a little bit, a <laughs> just, little bit. Just a I little. Have, I have help from her though, so. So I love, I love how you guys work together as a team, but for some reason you put me between you two. Yes. You're gonna be doing Yes. A galaxy backdrop and then a black galaxy on top of it. Yes. All right, cool. And then Maybe you're going to teach me how to do what you do. Yes. And then we're going to we're going to show the world you guys' new sign. Ooh, it's yes. so good looking. All right, guys. guys. I want to know where are you from? Where are you tuning in from? Let us know in the comments. Here we go. Let's learn from Erica. And you guys are both going to start this. We're just going to have... Just art. I happening. was just about to say something bad live. We're going to have three projects going on at the same time, and it's going to be awesome. All right, let's do it. This is not a TV after dark. And I'm back. Like, I'm back. My hip's working. Your hip's working. That's my good. hip's working. I just iced it. I'm ready for this. All right. It's so you just yeah. put down alcohol. I always grease the pan, as my mom would say. Whether it's resin or alcohol, I always put some down first. So this is 91% isopropyl alcohol. The higher percentage of alcohol, the better when you do alcohol inks. And since we've just been experimenting with making these resin dyes, um, fluid like alcohol inks, um, the same theory applies. Does it does it work the same as what you're using with a with an ink? So the only real difference is like the test that I did yesterday um, with an alcohol ink. If you touch it the day after, it's not going to move like mm -hmm. with the dry hand. This definitely is going to need to be sealed in with resin, but it moves like alcohol ink does, which cool. is amazing because these are actually light fast to my knowledge like we're still doing tests with them obviously but right um at face value they're a lot more light fast than i talked to mike at Alumalite today and he said indoors absolutely you go out in the uv they're going to fade but not he said it's not going to disappear that's great right. that's really great especially for anyone that's done alcohol ink anything Oh. And this is your custom color you mixed together? Yeah. What did you put? Wow, look at that. That's cool. That's a great color. What did you put in that? This was the purple, the blue, the yellow, and the green. Are you using our live PD cam right now, Chris? Live PD. Chris is behind the <laughs> wheel, man. All right, so that is... that, And you just doused some alcohol in it? Yeah. The, it just she moves more. She wants to dilute more. it a little bit. Yeah. And oh, she's yeah. just adding more to... Make it, it just, move a little easier. It moves around more easily, especially since this Alumalite colorant is a thicker thing mm -hmm. because when you buy alcohol inks, it's already diluted. It's super liquid. That so super nice like that. <laughs> I know. That's Seen. pretty. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. Actually, if you were to just walk away from this, the alcohol will evaporate and this colorant will stay exactly where it is as the alcohol evaporates because basically that's all that's happening. When the alcohol evaporates, 
it just leaves what's left behind, which is the die. Sure. Which would look exactly like this. Very cool. Very cool. Very nice. So, I guess. I'm oh, you got to tell me, Chris. I was, <laughs> I was sitting here holding the. No, holding I just the. Did. I just did. You're all good. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. So, Mitch, Mitch isn't with us tonight. He had to go to an appointment, so he says hi to everybody. But Chris uh, is going to be asking any questions. Chris, is there any questions on there right now? And go ahead and just blurt them out when they're, when they're here, man. All right, I will. I love so what what's this your looks theory? Like. What are you oh, yeah. what are you doing right now? You're just kind of giving yourself a backdrop or what? So I never really have a plan when I add my color to anything, whether it's alcohol ink or um, or if it's resin, whatever it is. Cool. I never really have like an actual plan because with a fluid medium like this, mm -hmm. you can have a plan. It's not. It doesn't matter. It's gonna do what it Roll wants to with do. it, right? You have to just know the color you can know the colors and then apply them and then that's when i make my plan we just made aqua patina um, we did right quarter. because you came and said i want to figure out how to up level your copper yeah and we did aqua patina and then you recreated it but because you followed the same steps it would belong in the same project right. but it's never going to match you can't like force it right to do it what you want it, it to do it won't do exactly what you've done but it'll it'll be close mm -hmm. nice Hey, Mike, we got a question about the uh, Alumalite dies. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh. Okay. Clara Lawrence asks, uh, is it light fast? Yeah, it is light fast. You're going to, you're going to, these are made for resin and they're made to uh, retain their color. Indoors, especially, it's going to be very color fast. According to Mike, who's the owner of Alumalite, who has been working with these product, products for a long time, they will fade outside over time, but they're not going to disappear like you'll find some products might have that problem. Um, but we, we are now kind of experimenting in this degree with this. So we'd love our customer feedback. What do you guys think over time? Test it out and try it. And these are very inexpensive on our site. And a little bottle like this diluted with alcohol is going to go a long way and they're like under six bucks. A so go check way. it out. Super concentrated. A long way. Yeah. And I'm trying to convince ATD to carry them in their store. So we'll see what happens. You better believe I'm pretty, it. <laughs> I'm pretty convinced after playing with them this week that it's something that we'd be interested in. So I can see the value of really putting your alcohol bed down, you know, and mm -hmm. so it's got that, or else it's gonna wanna kinda stay put, isn't it? Mm -hmm. For sure. Because it'll just stain. You'll drop it because it's such a thick medium. It's just going to stay wherever you drop it. So this is, it just gives it something to flow across. What I like about this too, especially if you're, if you're budget minded, it's very inexpensive right now to play. You're working with alcohol and a little bit of dye. So you can really kind of create without mm -hmm. the expense of resin up front. A little more experimenting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. And if you don't like it, start over. Mm -hmm. You just take an alcohol rag. Wipe it off. Nice. Start over. Oh, that is cool. That's fun. Let's go back to live PD cam. I'm gonna I'm gonna record I'm gonna record this because this is this is cool. Look at that. <laughs> we got a couple more questions about the uh, little light die. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Can this be done with any sort of die mixed with ISO? Uh, you know, it's going to have different results for sure. And we always, I know you guys would agree, experiment. Yeah. We always experiment. We do spot tests all the time to make sure. What we tell people is if, if you have a big project and you don't have a lot of material, a lot, of, um, a lot to work with, just make a very smaller piece of, your, of your, what you're painting on. Mm -hmm. Do the exact same thing you would do to your to your project to the little sample and just do a small sample that way Yeah, we do scale samples all the time and We try to use products that are proven in the field and This the reason that I asked uh, Mike from Illumilite to let me have these is because they're colors that I didn't have I didn't have this kind of a, a System and I really love it. It reminds me of the same stuff. I used to tint my granite seams with and so I really like that those seams never faded. So I, I love these hard lines. Like it, it's settling. It almost yeah. looks like stained glass sometimes. Oh my gosh. Hyperpigmented. So as it's evaporating. It's leaving the lines because that's where I pushed it to. I pushed yes. it to a line. 
I can also just like tap over it and reignite them. That is really cool. But I like having them like that because if I blow them out like this, it leaves these Little striation fingers. marks, mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. drips. I love it. So anywhere I push the alcohol to is going to leave that hard line. So uh, how many colors does the dye come in? Uh, they're on our website right now. We picked some of our favorites, but if, if you guys start to like them, we'll, we'll bring even more of those. But we're working on a color factory right now that's going to give you the ability, like Thornton does, to mix and match color if you so desire. But, um, you know, we're, uh, we're putting together our, our fun zone right now. Fun zone. I the want fun to be zone. part of the fun zone. I like the fun zone. Yes. <laughs> also, what's the drying time? And I suppose, does the, does the Illumilite dye change the drying time of the epoxy? Are they hearing your question or should I repeat it, Topher? Uh, go ahead and repeat it just in case. So what's the drying time? It's going to depend on how much alcohol you got on the surface, right? For sure. But the higher the concentration of alcohol, yeah, the quicker it's going to evaporate. Yeah. That is that's so right. pretty. It's called an affinity line. This the stutter. Oh my gosh. Yeah. If you keep messing with that, I'm almost going to be mad at you because it's so awesome. Holy it's dry. cow. It's dried. dried it out. It's done. So you could resin that right now. Yeah. You could. Um, a lot of times with alcohol inks, you want to spray it with like a UV archival spray. Um, that way it seals it in from the resin igniting anything. But we did a test and it it didn't move under it the resin. It didn't fade. Normally, normally the resin will It'll soften almost, these hard lines. Yeah, soften it, almost suck out the color. And, it, oh, it I see. Yeah. But with I this, see. it's because... It stayed. Yours stayed. Did you guys resin over this yet? Yes. We did the, the galaxy one, that you did? one from yesterday. Oh, oh nice. I'll go get it. Nice. So, yeah, we played with this yesterday. You, you did that, but you didn't put any glitter in the galaxy. Oh, yeah, we did cover it, though, and it, it, like, it. brought it to life. Yeah, and it, but if that was an actual alcohol ink and it didn't seal it the way you're supposed to, it would have faded. All these crisp lines would have softened. I see. Like this. Oh, oh here, bright. let me go live, PD, on that. Yeah. Need out of your way. Or go me? overhead, Cam. Go <laughs> overhead, Cam. That's really cool, man. So that is what Jeff's about to do for y'all yeah. today. We're going to do one of these. And then, you're, more and then we're control. thinking about putting glitter in the clear to see yes. what happens. Yeah, to make it all make nice it and galaxy. sparkly. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to then try this. Do you want to get started or you want me? To, what's the plan here, Jeff? Do you want to both work at the same time or what? Let's have a dual tackle. Um, you want to do this at the end? Yeah, let's do that at the end. Yeah, let's do that. And stay to the end, guys. We're going to continue the Q&A. We're with two of the most world-renowned resin artists on the face of planet Earth. <laughs> and so if you have questions, ask away, and we'll get you answers. So, Chris, keep them firing. I'm going to try to make something that is at least 10% as cool as what... The, that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you did, it, you did it effortlessly. I love when it. When you have good colors and good products, making something that's beautiful is really not impossible for even the most novice of artists. Okay, these are what I'm using here? I just made you some primary colors. You can also use um, the Jeffrey teal. teal. That's sick. All right, I'm gonna try this. Give me some alcohol. Grease your pan. Grease my pan. And I, I saw you didn't, you like did this and then you just like moved it around? Is that is that what you did? Yeah, I just dropped color in and let it. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm like I don't, get, I don't get nervous doing this anymore and I'm really nervous right now. But I'm here to help this you. Is fun. Yes. All right. Here we go. All right. Where's my spray paint? Oh, that is so fun. Looks like you just shot your board. <laughs> yeah. Boosh. Boosh. And a lot of times we tell people that you can blow it around if you like to just disperse it. Yep. You or just... you can tilt it. Oh, I see. Like with the heat, you're saying? You can with the heat or with your face. You can just. With. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> blow I'm it just around with you my can blow face. With your face. Blow with your face. I don't. Please don't put your face in there. I try not to say. See, it gives it a mouth. whole different look. That is cool. Ah, uh, that's fun. Did that's I do a good fun. job blowing it so mm -hmm. far? Nice, nice. All right. Put a little more alcohol right here. I think I'm going to start this uh, space scene. What do you think about that? Get spacey with it, B. We're going to do this. What and I'm you know, do... the, the, the white background is going to give you an entirely. So on the black, you don't. You, we didn't see a lot of it until until we put resin on it mm -hmm. to kind of wake it up. It does it up. still show up a little bit, but where it hits the white, boom, it just, it blows right up. I'm gonna make some purple up in there. It's gonna look nice. All right, well, I'm gonna use your, I'm gonna use your heat gun and play. 
Go for it. Now, do you have a hard time when somebody's doing something wrong where you're like, oh, you're killing it? Um, no, but only because I really enjoy, especially in the classes that we teach, finding out what it is that people maybe aren't excited about in their piece and then rescuing it. I see. Like the rescue portion of our resin classes are some of my favorite times. Oh, that's really, really cool how it's just making the color for you. Yeah, you didn't even mix it. Yes. It is. For people that really like to play with color, this is... That's like a, that's like a tie-dye right there, man. Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to use some of this color. I like how it like, it beads and rolls, you know? Right. There you go. For sure. A lot of people use like an embossing gun just because they don't want quite as much heat. But with that heat gun in particular, there's a knob on the back that you can turn up or down the heat, like how warm it blows the air. I know Clara Lawrence out there is a fan of embossing guns over heat guns for... Yeah. We actually got a question for ATD right here. Uh, Adrian Rodriguez says, I've been using a keyhole bit to cut grooves for my pieces to hang on the wall. I'm concerned about heavier pieces. ATD, how uh, do you prep slash finish or hang your pieces? The clear pieces? <clears throat> no, she says she's been cutting the keyhole, like uh, probably in the smaller stuff or using keyhole Maybe boards? I'm not for sure. Are they already cut in the board or the canvas or what, what, what type of... she cut it. Ah. But I don't know why you do that unless it's the clear. So, mm. is that the clear canvas that she's talking about? If it is, we use standoffs to hang our clear canvases. Yes. This looks so awesome. I love it. I like how it dries and you, you get that opportunity just for a split second to make those hard lines mm -hmm. and then just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like. Alcohol inks will make your art great for you. Oh, this is just fantastic. You know, it looks kind of washed out till it starts to dry. And then, and then once you, you hit the resin on it though, it'll even more brighten the Oh, color. this is, this is addictive here. I, it's so layered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes when, when people, when they, if they want to put a little gold on it, they'll put the resin over it, give it a little buff or a little sanding, and then you can draw on it with gold and then do another layer, a uh, little flood coat, and amazing. Nice wow. little layer extra with a little extra gold on there. Jeff will often, like I'll do an alcohol ink piece and then he will do like a portrait or a face or some eyes or something over my alcohol ink pieces. So we have like very dimensional mixed media artwork. I like, love your you're drawing. You're doing amazing. I, am I doing good? You're, do, you're doing very well at controlling it and not not over pushing it. Yeah, you, you can, can tell can, you're like, not panicking. Resin. I mean, you can't. Normally, people this. will just be like, Brr! no, I, I they don't. I no, love like, it. You're man. doing so good. <laughs> Thank you. I, I I watched you guys the last couple of days. We have been having so much fun making stuff. Just making great stuff. Like, mm -hmm. we were actually in the kitchen today cooking up borax, borax and it's making, making crystals. geode crystals. Y'all, and, and this like, How do you make geode crystals for a living? Mm. Th that's how, yeah. what we did today. <laughs> Boil some water. Don't we do did. laundry. All right, I'm gonna start yeah. this bad boy. I'm loving this. This is, I think I'm almost done. Yeah, once it's like set up, there's nothing you can do unless you put more alcohol on it. I gotta live PD this right now. All right, Chris, hit it. Got Look it. at this thing, man. Yeah, you wanna you wanna do it? I need some colors, kids. Okay. Hey, Mike. Yes. Guess, uh, this next question's for everybody. Uh, uh, whether either of you guys are doing uh, hands-on training or workshops. That, that oh it. yeah, ATD, you guys are on a tour, right? You're doing... We actually are on tour right now. Um, our next class is in Colorado Springs, 
And then we have one in Chandler, which is right next to Phoenix. And then we have one in Vegas. Yes. If you guys want to learn live with ATD, go to their website. It's under it's under classes. How do yeah, they find resin classes? Resin classes, and you're gonna go meet them up at all these. You go all over the country teaching the people how to art. Like we all over the world. Australia. Yeah, we we were in Remember? Australia together. We yes, there. I think I was. That was awesome. Oh, Jeff. You know, people want to learn how to do the Northern Lights. This might be this might be a start to that. Yeah. For sure. Well, a lot of times the most dynamic and beautiful pieces have layers of different techniques. And so that's why in our artwork we incorporate everything we can get our hands on. Airbrush, inks, stains, resin, borax. Yeah, we just don't stick to, to one medium. That is really cool. Mike, we got a couple questions about uh, where this can be applied. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think this can be applied in so many different ways. Just giving yourself an underpainting, mm -hmm. mimicking stained glass. You can do functional art. You can do wall art. You can do uh, your company colors in this and make a man cave bar. Like, how, how do you go wrong with this technique as being so forgiving if you don't like it? Get a rag saturated in alcohol, wipe it off, and do it again without having to really freak out. And right. so I, I think, you know, we started with MDF, we painted it, and we did a thin layer of resin, so we had a very slick surface to start with. That, right. that was critical, right? A lot of people will do their alcohol inks on UFO paper, just because, or like photo paper, because it's slick and it's not gonna allow the, the inks to seep in and absorb into the paper. So that's kind of why we prep this with just resin. And you know, one thing that I found too, I started in countertops only, which is my roots. That's what I did is I built countertops for people, but, but kind of going outside my comfort zone into art and into different crazy colors that I may not have done, you learn techniques that you can come back and incorporate into your niche. And so I think it's important to, to experiment, get outside your, your comfort zone and learn these techniques and figure out how you can now incorporate that because I guarantee I have a customer that asked me to match like a transparent onyx and you could do that almost like a, a backdrop of that with these kind of techniques. Mm -hmm. Look at that, Jeff. Dang, man. I completely agree. I think if you have just one thing that you're into, you're not going to... So yours, I love the colors a lot more than mine. And what did you just use? Two colors? I used the custom color uh -huh. and then red. Two colors. Yeah. So I went I went clown colors. You went you went uh, tie dye. That was but it looks amazing. It is it tie dye, really but good. but I could see that I could I got the technique. Like I I understand how to let it dry. I, I like I listened to what you taught yesterday about kind of getting getting that ridge and then coming mm -hmm. back and hit like so I followed that technique and it looks so deep, like I like this little spot where it goes down, but mm -hmm. I could do that with any colors and I'm gonna get that effect, but it just different beauty. Color. Yeah. Black and white, we were talking about black and white mm -hmm. video. Yeah. We're gonna do a black Coming and white up. video so that you can just see the, the technique. technique and then you'll know that that works with any color. Any, any other questions, board. Chris? Actually, we got some really great questions coming in. Uh, I think it'd be best if uh, we take a little bit of time for some Q&A. We got a few really good ones. So uh, first off, uh, Bluegrass Arts Annie actually would like to ask ATD. Uh, she wants to integrate some ink into her uh, countertop base coat next week. And she says, how do I coat it to protect it prior to resin? You need to use UV archival spray to keep it from fading into your resin. No, she doesn't. She needs to get this stuff. Or. <laughs> I'm being pushy stuff. now. Uh, I this, mean, this works Hey, guys, that. support yeah. your sponsor of this video. <laughs> Ta-da. Yes. I got what you another get? one. Is this, for, is this for me? Yeah. Because you I said would. that you wanted to do another color. All right, I want to try. <laughs> I, I do this stuff all day, every can day. I, can I try that teal and. Yeah, teal's are there. I'm going to do that. You did red. Let's get you a sanding block. 
I want, let's do a yellow. Let's do yeah, that. No. That, no. I, I didn't sand mine. Did I? Yeah, yeah I did. I sanded did. both y'all's. Okay. Yes. Never so, mind. good point. Why are we sanding, Jeff? Uh, so we can get a little tooth going on. So, so uh, when we do the resin, it'll give it a nice tooth to stick to. It. Exactly. So if you don't sand a little bit, you're, you're putting resin over a cured slick surface, which will will not want to bond as good as if you just. This is just uh, 400 grit. It's a very light sanding, and you would be shocked at how much that does. You got your under. That, look at that underpainting, man. Holy cow. Yeah. That was fast too. It's fun. You banged fun it out. Fast. So should we should we mix some resin? Let's do that. Let's mix some you resin. Go out. ahead and mix the resin while um, I help Mike with this. I'll do take that. Take two. All right, I'm gonna wipe the dust. Thanks. Like, I I haven't had this much fun in a long time, man. All right, I'm gonna reach over you, Jeff. Go ahead. Actually, no. I just need to get. Where's the fresh rags? Here's um. We're live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are we live. I love it. All right, we need a big bucket, huh? We're gonna mix a lot of resin. So ATD, for anybody who doesn't know, they're in Dallas, Texas. They came all the way out to Oregon. We started doing videos together oh, almost a couple years ago. It's been a couple years. You guys yeah. supply our, our product. You're just amazing to work with. And it's just, it's, thank you for being here, man. Thanks for having us. Thank you we for having us. We always have a blast. We always have all right, a blast. All right, ask the audience. I'm gonna use the teal that, so what did you use again, Jeff, to make this? What we do is you put you put a little yellow, a teeny bit of that blue. No, 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 we need a lot of blue. A lot of blue. A lot of blue, and then add just a little bit of your purple uh -huh. to make it that regal, that real nice yes. dark. You can see the streaks of yeah. Yes, I like nice how it leaves regal. it on the cup, man. That's cool. Like Shakespeare. I'm gonna use blue and teal. teal. Very similar that. colors yeah. and just, just give a, mm -hmm. I think that'll look gorgeous. How much How much resin we making, Mike? Um. With your one-to-one well, one do We're going to do your, your thing, too. Yeah, so go 32 ounces. Gotcha. The nice thing is, is, is I know where to get more. You there we go. I forget you know a guy. I know a guy. Hey, Mike. Yes. Yeah, we got some more questions here. Um, uh, Brandon would like to know, uh, he just thought of something. Uh, he's been trying to mimic flames on a sample board, and he asked if this is the best way to do it. And, yeah. Um, I'll tell you, I, I did a video on flames. You guys, have you done videos on flames? We've done a couple. So I would say this could give you abstract flames, you know, but I don't know. I don't know if this is the realistic approach I would flames. Take. I've done realistic flames with airbrush. Yes. Yeah, you can do. You can use airbrush with white, and then you can, uh, if you if you know how to do the flames with airbrush or spray paint, if you have a pattern, um, and then you could. Put your red, your yellow, and it'll kind of mix into orange, and I think that would make it. Video. That would be that would be fun to try so, that. I think using colors similar that you're gonna find in fire, for sure. Like you're gonna you're gonna have fun with that. So try it out. Tell us what you think. Do we have another blackboard? Ooh, the stir stick. We got more boards over there. If you want it. Uh, also, um, let's see. Uh, Todd would like to know: uh, Can you put this on glass? If yes, do you need to apply a primer or a bonding agent first? Have you guys ever done this on raw glass? <laughs> I have inked on glass. Um, I wouldn't sand glass though because this ink is. Not this ink, but regular alcohol ink is going to seep into those scratch marks and leave fine hair striations. <laughs> I see. So whenever, whenever I go on glass, I use a clear bonding primer because I don't want to. I don't want to have my work go south on me. So I've never. I, I would never do this on straight glass and expect it to last. But it doesn't mean it wouldn't work. I just have my own habits. <laughs> okay. It might work on glass. I would have to test it before I'd recommend someone to do it. And so, um, but that's a lot of what our channel is, is people asking us, do you think this will work? And then I'll reverse be in engineer it as best I can to make it work <laughs> as best that 
you know, from the techniques that I know and from the materials I have, I try to make it work. I like that. That's that's smart. You really just come work different parts of the board as it's drying, right? Like for sure. This is this is so fun. I like just the two colors. I think I think I overdid the colors because I like this these colors a lot more. If you were to take some alcohol and just throw it on all of it, swirl it around, it's like one of those old etch -a sketches. It just like erases it, and you can start applying the heat in different areas to get your lines in different spots. Boy, this is fun. Holy cow. It's like trying to make, I always think it looks like those like canyon circles. Like Yeah, like a topographical map. Very much so. That is, that is really, really, really fun. I have never done anything like this, and I'm absolutely hooked. Look at that. Look at that. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. This Time. is sick. Holy cow. That would make a gorgeous countertop. We're just out. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. You say you've never done this before. I have never done that. Mm. Does that look good? Yeah. Like what do I do you do I get your approval, Jeff? You get all the approval. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you for bringing me another piece, Erica. My wife is gonna love this technique. I can't wait. She's got a, she really wanted to come do this with us tonight. So, honey, I'm having all the fun, sorry. Aha, but we're here tomorrow. Yes. You're gonna start getting rings down here if you just like tap into this, cause it's drying this way. So do, here, show me. It's basically dry at this point, but if I go get another, no, Lee, like I don't want to add alcohol. I no, like it. No, I would get another board. I wouldn't, oh, I I see. wouldn't apply to this. Do, do you think that, did I pass the test? Yes. That is so cool. I was hoping I'd have something up on you, but it looks like. No, no, no. You, got, you, guys, you guys are amazing teachers. You're amazing <laughs> teachers. Let me see if they have another. Yes. What do, we, what do we use for your, we use your bling, it, your, bling uh, your, your He's galaxy. He's using the silver glitter. Oh, silver. The, uh, the silver. I have some right over here for you that I brought over. So we're going to do silver uh -huh. glitter. Yes, you got it? Yeah. Ooh. So we'll just put it in. Yeah, Don't do put it in silver. the whole thing. Yeah, I know. I was just going to put it. Yeah. I had a cup somewhere. I got oh, a whole stack down there. So Jeff that? is going to, I can't wait to see what this Tiny. galaxy looks like. Chris, let me put this. Here, so you I can switch because it's kind of hard to see thing. from that angle what he's doing. So you're adding some silver glitter, and then you're going to add the resin, right? I don't want to yeah. put too much because I don't want to yeah. cover it in glitter because you want to see all this. Right. You want to be able to see the stars okay. too, like the little white. Second. I'd go right there, then I wouldn't add any more. You're gonna. That'll do a lot. Okay. And then I'm going to yeah. steal some of that when you're done, and I'm just going to clear coat. I'll pull those back up when you're ready to clear coat. I think this go. one you're using for another demo, though. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. it, I am. I'm sorry. Did we not have any more ready? We apparently have had too much fun today, and we used them all. Oh, well. Which is fine. If they want to see more, they could tune into ATD. They could tune into Stone Coat, because we got lots of videos that we've made this week that are going to be coming out for sure. yeah. in the very near future. All right, well, I'm going to grab... Can I clear coat this one, Erica? Absolutely. All right, I'm doing it. He's doing it. And I'm just gonna use your technique because I don't want to scratch this with the trowel. So I'm just gonna use my hands. Is that cool? That's how we do it. I'm scared of the trowel. Wow. Oh my gosh. This, oh, can you move that heat gun for me? Absolutely. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm hooked. See, that's the problem with hanging out with you guys is now I'm totally hooked. Oh, this is all I'm going to do. Like, our channel is going to change to this. <laughs> all right, I'm going to scoop off some extra on there. Is that okay? Bring a little sure. color to your life. With ATD. Brighten your world with ATD. <laughs> oh. Chris, are you getting that? Yeah. He's it, see, it doesn't show it enough. I'm gonna, I'll bring in. I'll bring in the live cam. I'll bring in that in a minute. Okay, Luke. We got Luke and we got brother Luke on That's the scene. That's probably not enough to cover that, right? Um, 
Yeah, I'd add a little more clear. A little bit. I'm gonna go Cam. Chris? Look at that thing, man. Oh my gosh, that's really fun. And I love how fast that underpainting dries. And mm -hmm. then I'll just, I'll just torch out the bubbles. And then it's done. All right, we got more clear here for you, Erica. There you go. Boom. All right, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the space over it. You're All right, let, let's show, show this. Well, I guess this is no, just clear. Look at that. That's okay, go check out thing. what Eric, go, go check out what Thornton's doing. This is like the quickest way to do fine art. That is absolutely amazing. It is, it is amazing. Might have to put some clear in that. It's kind of foggy yet because it's the air in there, so it'll it'll clear up a little bit more. Gotcha. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You sp get. Oh yes. <laughs> he gets real excited when he likes what he's painting. That's that's like the black hole explosion that just happened. Yeah. Welcome to Supernova. That is a that is a that's a, a astro astronomy art project right there. Holy cow. When your kids want their countertops in their bathrooms to be galaxy. Where's the uh, other where's our roll of paper towels? Mm, I think I can find them for you. Right over here. Oh we, need, we are I think almost we need, out. We need some more. Yes. I do have one with some alcohol on it, if you like. I am using it. <laughs> Thank you. you this one is one new. Okay, oh, this is working. If you guys use things with alcohol on it, be careful with the torch. Yes, pro tip. All right, can I see that torch, Jeff? Sure can. Let me go get another paper towel. Holy cow, guys, are you enjoying this live video? I just learned a really fun technique. And this is honestly the first time I've ever done this. And we wanted to show results that you can get the very first time. Wow. Wow. Okay. We have a special project that I'm going to pull out and we're going to talk about it. And then we'll come back and show these. But I'm going to take my gloves off so I could show it, and then we'll... Do we have any resin left? We do have resin left. All right, that probably won't be enough, though. Mm -mm. But we'll mix a little more as we need it. Okay, guys, so about a year ago when you guys were out here, we went to the Redwoods, and we made... Or we got a piece of Redwood, and then we made this table, right? And then uh, you want to show that video of this table that we made real quick? Let's just show the intro. It's just going to be about a minute, guys. Check out what we made a year ago, and we'll show you what we're going to do to it tonight. We used casting epoxy to create this amazing redwood table. We're going to show you in this video, step by step, how you can do the same thing. We started with a simple piece of redwood, we made a form, and we did a couple of pours with fancy techniques to create outstanding results. Learn right now how you can enhance any woodworking project with these epoxy techniques. Learn how to level and router your project like a pro. We're also going to demonstrate how we kept this project translucent so light will show through. We're going to do seal coats. We're going to do flood coats. We're going to show you everything in between. Stay tuned and visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. <laughs> All right, so guys, we did that a year ago, and now we routed in the ATD logo. Go ahead and go overhead, uh, Chris. So we routed in the ATD logo, and then Thornton, you had us sign this. Yes. I wanted you guys to be a part of this. You obviously made this, and I wanted to be in it forever. So you taped it off so we'd get it nice and straight. Yeah. You're a true artist with how you lay things out. I love this table. It's been sitting here waiting for you guys to return because this yes. is, we, we did this together, man. Mm -hmm. So, and then we routed this in. This has metallic and diamond dust in it. And when we put the clear on this, I think it's gonna, That's gonna, gonna pop. Amazing. So yeah. we'll do that. And then Erica, you had a plan. Oh, I just wanted to show um, the torch and tilt technique because anytime I use a new, any brand of paint, I wanna see if it works worse, better, or greater than what I'm currently using. Nice. 
And so, so you're gonna do that now. So do you wanna do you wanna grab that, that cam to watch her do that, and then sure I'll just will. mix up some clear and put it on this. Let's sure. do that. Cool. That's a plan. Any more questions, Chris, that we can answer? Any this one? Chris, is there any questions, my friend? Well, um, uh, some folks arrived a little late, um, and so if we could just go over what we're doing here again uh, and kind of recap, that would be that would be helpful. Yeah, let's do that. So we started with um, the alumalite dyes; they're translucent and opaque. Uh, Artist till death came here. They mixed it with alcohol. They taught me how to do an alcohol ink pour. I had a blast. Go rewind the video, watch the whole thing. It's totally gonna blow your mind at new technique that you can do on art, on countertops, on basically anything functional that you wanna make look really cool. So, and now you're gonna, you're gonna teach us over the clown, the clown painting, how to turn it into... I'm making a clown ocean pour. A clown you. ocean pour, all right. I'm gonna use the excess clear that we had and then we'll mix up a little more. Perfect. So. And then go ahead and go to the live cam um, so that uh, Thornton can record Erica doing yeah. this technique. And I'll try my hardest not to move around too much. So this is that combination of colors that you did earlier. And people ask us all the time, how do you get cells? How do you get lacing? How do you get ocean waves? And I just wanted to see if I could do that with um, this medium, this uh, so, so you've mixed some of the dye into the resin. The exact colors I did in that one, I did as a resin mix. Okay. It's versatile like that. I can do ink it or I can do with and, resin. And you've got a, a clear layer of resin down. Yes. And then you're going to do that and white and kind of go, go in different layers. Do you have to put the white behind the color? The thing is, I always with Stone Coat products, I'm like base tint, if it's whatever it is, if it's a base tint, it has to be under the other colors. But for other paints like this alumalite um white opaque dye has to be over the other colors gotcha so gotcha. i'm just going to test both of them out to see how they work this is called a torch and tilt i love it yeah that is going to be rad That is great lacing right there. Oh, that is pretty. This is something that our subscribers have loved watching and learning. And there's that plume that I was telling you about, that purple piece. So if you want to learn how to get lacing, this is how, huh? This is how. If you wanted to do an ocean pour, this is, this is your waves. Whoa. Whoa, what do you think of that, Chris? That is absolutely fabulous. Um, oh my goodness, that's gonna be awesome. So the more heat you're applying, It'll move and then it will open up. Right, but you just have to be really careful, especially with a torch so you don't scorch your resin. It's super easy to do. And you don't want to get any of those like scabs. Right, is that gonna, um, would that work the same if you didn't have the clear underneath, the clear resin underneath? It wouldn't really move. It would just like congeal and just go in um, awkward drip. <laughs> but with that clear underneath, it allows for this tinted resin to move more seamlessly. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Uh, folks would like to know if this is good to use in your kitchen. If it's good to use for uh, surfaces around food and such. Yeah. yeah. Our our epoxy is food safe. It's zero VOC. It's heat resistant, scratch resistant. You could put hot pans on it. It's crystal clear. It's second to none. If you've tried any resin on the market, ask ATD. They love this product. The Art Coat has got enhanced UV abilities to keep it more color fast longer. I really, I've worked with resin for many years and this is a 
awesome product for a kitchen, especially when you're trying to mimic Mother Nature or, an, or a really exotic stone on a budget. It's $5 a square foot versus $100 a square foot for an exotic granite. Right, for sure. You know? So yeah, that's, that's, where, that's what people use it for. You got it. Also, Mike, uh, can, uh, let's see, specifically, can it be used for like a rifle stock or uh, the bottom of a bowl, like curved surfaces? Yeah, we, we have quick coat that, that we use or people will put it on a like a barbecue rotisserie where they'll do like tumblers or round objects. Uh, Carl Jacobson hooked it up on his lathe and does a bowl and, and then lets it dry while it's going on a lathe. That's how you can do uh, round surfaces as well. Great question. So I want to talk about April 7th and 8th, 2020. We have the second annual... Artisan Summit. Summit. I'm so it's gonna be that. great. I had to say it with you. Sorry. Yes. No. I love it. You guys are coming. You guys are coming back. We are. We're you, back. You're willing to do it again. Yeah. I'm willing you're to willing put to myself through that. Did you guys it. have fun last year? I had a blast. I had a. I had one of the best times. Like, I. I. I, I did something that I never thought I would do, which is speak in front of a lot of people. I think a lot of people learned from you guys. I think there was so much to glean of how to turn something that you love to do every single day into a living. Like mm -hmm. you guys have, you guys are the epitome of that. You, you're an artist till death we are. And, and you do it every day because now you, you actually are able to really carve out a, a great living doing it. And Absolutely. so that's what we do is we teach you how to turn your craft into cash, your passion into profit. It was super successful. We have so many speakers from last year coming back and we've enhanced the schedule. Plus we're doing live uh, demos. You guys are going to do stuff live for people yes. there. And the tickets right now are a hundred dollars. It's absolutely underpriced for a reason because yep. we're trying to give back to the communities that support us. And we want to meet face to face at least annually yep. as a, as a group of collaborative folks who love doing this stuff. It's so great because you get to be around people that love to do art as well or functional art like tables, countertops, and you can learn a, a new skill to mix into whatever it is you already do. Yes, <laughs> you need a new battery. I know, it's still Are working though. Yeah, I'm dying. I thought you were just like slow playing it. I'm, I was talking. I I'm thought you were just full being kind. speed right now. Oh, okay. I'm full speed, look, I'm, I'm not even holding the bucket. You need to get in there. We can do it old school. Let's with a do it stick. old school. Let's get it. I think I think that's a sign right there, dude. If we're gonna do this for artists till death, we gotta mix it by hand. Yeah. Well, we could do. No, we can't. We can't do what we normally do, like we did on stage and at the first artist in the summit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All Eric, right. that's looking amazing. I love it. That's really cool. That's a cool technique. I love this. So, the way you get plumes that are kind of like how smoke billow before they go up yeah. is from heating just um, one line instead of going straight across. You heat the line right in front of the white and color that I, I was using. So, I heated the area and then right in front of it. So, it kind of caught up with it and went under it and over it. Crazy, so it crazy. So you know how to recreate that. After a few attempts. Nice. Well, we paint every day because it's what we love to do. We're, we're fortunate in that we get to paint. I day. think that's a pro tip is if you, if you want to get good at something, put some time behind the wheel. For sure. Right? And uh, we've tried to make these videos tutorials that you can follow step by step. We got PDF downloads that you can follow on our channel of how to recreate what we make. But the, the secret sauce is time. drive the car. Right? Yeah. Drive the car. Get that muscle All right, memory. I think we're good, man. Yeah? If it's sticky, it's your fault. Yeah. All right, take it. More questions here. Okay. Uh, let's see, about floors. Can this, is this good to use on floors? Uh, we have a, a product designed for floors. It's thinner, because if you tried to use art code on an entire floor, it would be quite expensive. And so we've designed it for a floor, and it's, it's made to be used with metallics. It's a very easy product to install. Just, uh, what's up? Don't go over that like with your hand again, just in case you might smudge it. Got it. That's I will chalk, not. So. Oh, I got it. Thank you for warning me. Yeah, we just want to make and sure. And you did that really nice, and I know I freaked you out, so thank you. No, that's good. I've done this. I've done that. I just never went back over it. Got you know it. what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, look at how that. Look at how that diamond dust and the glitter 
oh, and the yeah. metallic is just coming out. Super That's nice. your guys' style right there, man. Yeah, we love all it. All the drips, all the glitter, all the color. There you go. That's yeah, that cool. Hey, Mike, we got another question about our uh, micas. Uh, what's the particle size, and can they be used with alcohol inks? Are metallics? No. I, I, what, what do you guys say? Metallics without alcohol ink. So, so let me tell you from a countertop perspective. From a countertop perspective, we mix and match different additives all the time because they react with one another. Um, we would use the dye in the resin, which, hey, Luke, can you go get that perp, that violet and blue piece that I did with the diamond dust in 10 seconds the other day? And that will be a good example of the metallics and the dyes together, what you'll create. So I think that's what they're asking and we'll show you an example of a video we're about to, about to release that I made this piece literally in 10 seconds. Put it under the uh, over, overhead. So right there, that is what happens when you mix the dyes and the metallic. Yep, that was diamond dust and the aluminite dyes. And it had some white, because it was the excess of this. For sure. It's had some white metallic, the uh, the uh, diamond dust, and and then the dyes by mm -hmm. themselves without alcohol in, in them. To answer that question more specifically, I wouldn't use anything um, it has to be finer than like even makeup grade to work in an alcohol ink otherwise if you mix alcohol in it as soon as the alcohol evaporates you could like and it's gonna move you know right what I mean? so there's no binding agent when you just mix a powder into an alcohol to make an alcohol ink right you have to be very specific about the grain size I guess right and most micas are not small enough particles to work in an alcohol ink. And when in doubt, test it out. Like, just just it try it on a sample board. That's why we do a lot of sample boards, is because you'll learn how to do a technique, you'll perfect it, and then you can match that to scale. Because because of the working time of our products, you, you can know that this is gonna work on a very large piece, because it will absolutely still move for us. Let me grab the uh, heat, gun, or the torch. Oh, you, you have the torch. I'm making Just your piece extra amazing. Yes, you are. Do you see this? Like, I love it. Oh my right? gosh. Don't you guys love how easy the bubbles come out? Yeah. Look how good that looks with you guys' signature on there. That's sick, man. I didn't know about the signatures, but I'm glad you did that. You just see it. You see it because you want greatness with greatness. Brother, do you guys like it? I love it. We uh, just picked out the wood and the colors. That's right, it. You guys it. did all the rest. No, <laughs> you helped us pour that. Remember, we spooshed it. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. That was fun, man. Sorry. I'm Holy cow! No. The color. You're, you're, let me let me go Look live. How it stretches out. Let me That's go awesome. live cam on all these pieces. Let's do a little bit more Q and A there, Topher. I'm almost done with it. I just wow. want to make the cells That's break so fun. and do these. I just want got a question about all the diamond break. dust. Uh huh. That, uh, uh, do we currently have that, or do we carry that? It's it's in port right now, and we're about to have it in stock. So yes, it's coming back very very soon. That's why we're promoting it. Heck yeah! Look at that. We have it. we have we have got like twenty in stock. Oh, eight, <laughs> artist till death is selling some right now on their, we on their website. Left. Artistilldeath.com, go over there right now. Yeah. Get the last of them. All right, so I'm gonna go through these pieces. There's there's one we did. You see how she's just hitting where she wants it to stretch. That's the beauty of Stone Coat's resin, is a lot of resins are too fluid or too thick. So your viscosity is so honed in that I can work just one area without risking like this part that I love. If I don't heat it up, it's not gonna move. So. I want to move this part, not this part. So if I keep this, it's going to move and this doesn't budge. That's the beauty of this resin is I can control what, what works, move. what moves, and what doesn't. Nice. All right, Chris, I'll go through the line here. I'll show them what we made tonight. Guys, if you're just tuning in, yeah. go back and look at all these projects that we made tonight. Look at that, man. This looks so good, y'all. This is gonna look so good above our door. It's gonna replace our old sign. Look this at so look awesome. at the galaxy, man. Oh, I'm loving it. That is too fun. And then here is my second. Dude, look how good that looks. Ever wow. alcohol ink uh -oh. attempt. 
Yeah, that's embedded, bro. Oh, that's, that's, that's done. Well, you know, add a little character in there. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, question of the day, what do you want to see next on StoneCookCountertops.com? Have you heard of what ATD is up to? Go check them out. Visit us anytime at StoneCookCountertops.com. Go subscribe to Artist Till Death right now. We love these guys and you will too. Until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. I, I said, said bye. bye. Yeah, That's I good. got it, bro. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. this camera. Yeah, we're still working. Erica doesn't ever stop. Neither does Thornton. Never. I Let's said go. bye. 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 God. Actually, Mike, we do have one more question about the, uh, the lifetime of uh, the epoxy. Uh, Is there a lot of guaranteed? And such. It's what? Uh, how long it takes to yellow and such? Oh, it yellows instantly. No, I'm, I'm totally kidding. Okay, okay. We, we Only with a, yellow dye. We have, we have a very good formulation in our art code. If, you're, if you want a color fast system, go with that. You won't be disappointed. Um, and then watch our videos uh, on, on how to do this for white, your additives to use and the process to do that. Great question. If you're looking for a, a long-term resin, you found it right here. It's true. Mike, I think your piece is my favorite of the, the lot of them. Look this how one. fun that is. Really? This Look at that. is boss. I'm boss. so excited about oh, wow. those color boss, breaks baby. and depth. That's something you get from like multiple pours as an artist. And you did it in one. Well, we did it. We did it. You taught me. That's sick. I love it. I see what you're saying and you get that stretched out. I mean, this is sought after. I've seen people, how do you do that? How do you do that? This you is just that. taught them how live and in real time. Mm -hmm. And this is not gonna fade. We keep, if we keep rolling, it can't be free anymore, Chris. Oh. We gotta cut, buddy. <laughs>